Hey, Thunkers, this is Professor Dave from dragondropcode.com. Uh, in, in the previous video of the series, I showed you how to take, you know, basically a spreadsheet, right, of, of information, ratings, and musicians and users, and, you know, display it. And then we also computed the total of all the ratings and the average of all the ratings, okay? In this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do it for each of the musicians separately. So it gets a little trickier, right? Now we wanna add up just Drake's, which is gonna be nine plus five is 14. So we have to do a little filtering on, on the data and, and we'll, we'll, I'll show you how to do that. Um, okay, so here's, here's the app called Music Ratings. And you know our goal, we're gonna to have to use a, a couple new um, concepts or a couple new blocks. The count with is another repeat block. You know, we looked at the um, the for each item. That's what we used in the previous video, and that just goes through all the items in a in a single list. And in this case, we're going to use count with because we need to actually loop through two lists. Right? We're going to have our musicians and we're going to have our ratings, and we need to look at both of those. And so count with lets us kind of get an index. This I is is short for index and it means a oh, one, two, three, four. It keeps track of where you are in the, in the list. And we're gonna use that in, instead. Um, okay, so we're gonna use the count with block. Um, we'll also have to use this from the list, be able to get one of the, the index, the item from the list. So I've got some list of stuff, grab if I is a variable that's two or four, grab the fourth thing or in this case, grab the i thing, okay? And we'll use this count with block in this case because we have two lists that we want to look at um, at the same time because we need to know which musician we're talking about when we look at a, at a rating. We're also going to use if blocks and if blocks just let us kind of check to see, um, you, you know, like if it's Min Nicki Minaj or if it's Drake as, as the musician. Okay, so that's what we're shooting for and let's, let's get down to it. I'm going to open up our music ratings app. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is is kind of let's let's just add a little bit of user interface stuff here. So, um, and it's not going to be pretty, but let's let's just call this this label. It's we're not going to change it with code or anything, but it's the average of all. Okay, or sorry, that's actually the total, right? And that's right in front of the thing that's going to end up the total label. And then let's add one more label, um, which will just say this was the average, just so we know when we actually test this thing that we're showing the right stuff. So this is gonna be the average, you know, for all. Okay, now if I run this, it just looks a little bit better, right? We know what we're talking about, <laughs> okay? We could also make it prettier um, by doing a little more editing. Okay, I'm also, now we're, now what we care about is, and let's just do it for one of the musicians, but let's get Drake's, um, Drake's average, okay? And so I'm gonna call this the Drake average label. Okay, and we'll put nothing in there to start and we'll just put it over here. And I'm gonna add one more label, which is, is actually just saying what this number is gonna show. And I'm just going to say Drake average here. So the text of it is what's going to show on the user interface. And if I run it right now, of course, nothing's going to show up in the Drake average um, except my dash dash. Okay. So we got to write the code for it. So let's go to the blocks and um, I got to go back to editing for my test. So in my blocks, Right now, when I open the app, I go through all the ratings and compute the total of the average, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna add what's called a function and think of a function as just like a sub program. And this, this one's gonna be um, compute uh, filtered averages or we could call it compute Drake averages, whatever but we're filtering a, a big list of numbers and just getting some of them, okay? And I, if I have a function, I'm gonna put some code blocks in here, but once I have that function, I wanna make sure I call it. Okay, so when the screen opens, I'm gonna do all the stuff we already did, 
and then we call this function, which is going to do some more work for us, which we haven't we haven't shown that yet. Okay, so I need a couple more variables. I need um, two variables to keep track of Drake's information. One is going to be the Drake total. Okay, and it's going to start off as zero, of course. Well, you know, at least we'll initialize it to zero. And then I'm going to do command C, command V, and I'm going to call this Drake count. So we, if you think about it, we actually need to keep track of two things. We need to keep track of, oh, sorry, let me show this spreadsheet a little bit better. We need to keep track of how many Drake uh, ratings there are. So in this case, two and five are both Drake ratings. So there's going to be two of them. And then the total is going to be nine plus five is 14. Okay, but as we're actually going through this list of ratings, we're going to need to keep track of those two numbers. Okay, I'm going to go to the control folder. I'm not going to use the for each block. I'm going to use the count with block. Okay, because I actually need to look at two different lists and the count with will let me do that. I don't want to go up to 10. I want to go through this whole ratings list, right? I want to walk through all of them, look at all of them and check each one to see if it's Drake's. Um, so I'm going to change the list that's it's going or that I don't want to put ratings list here. What I want to put is the length of ratings list. So I'm going to grab the length of block, get rid of the default list that's in there. And we know that we know by looking at it as humans that the length of that list is five. Um, but the computer needs to to know it and and basically it's going to say okay. I've got this new variable I, which stands for index. It's going to start out as one. Every time it's going to get one bigger. So it'll be one, then two, then three, then four, then five. And it's going to do it five times. The length of, or whatever the length of the rating list is, right? Um, and that's going to give us a variable called index. So think of this variable I going one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's cool. Now what we need to do is actually stick, um, each of the numbers we get into uh, uh, another variable. So I'm going to have one more variable and I'm going to call it, um, um, I'm just going to call it a rating. Okay. And I'll just initialize it to zero just because it's a number. That's all we know at this point. But as we go through here, we're going to set the rating. And I have to grab a set block and then change it. So I set the rating. We're going to change it to one of the things in our ratings list. So I'm going to go to the list block and grab this get. Okay. And what I want to do is in the list ratings list, I want to get, right now it says get the first thing. So if I did that, it would always get nine. But really what I want to do is I want to grab the ith thing because I is going to go one, two, three, four, five. And I want to grab the ith thing every time, the index thing. Okay, so rating the first time, you know, and if we think about, you know, just in vision, this is not going to be in the spreadsheet, but if we've got a variable called i that starts off as one, if we get the i thing the first time, it'll give us a nine. If i then changes to two, we get the ith thing, it'll give us the 10 and so on. Okay, fundamental coding um, where you have this index and you want to, you know, instead of get the third, the fourth, the sixth thing, you want to get the index or the ith thing from a list. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we need to grab each rating, but we also need to grab each musician. So I'm going to create another variable. Okay, and instead of naming it rating, I'm going to name it musician. And I'm going to set my musician to just the blank text. Okay. And now I'm going to come down here and command C, command V. So as I'm looping through all the numbers, one to five, I'm going to grab um, from, not from my ratings list, but I'm going to grab the I theme and I'm going to change it to the variable musician. Okay. And I realized. I don't, I don't have a musicians list yet. I actually need to go to my spreadsheet 
and I need to grab the whole list of all the art. Well, actually, it's called artists, right? Uh, but I've called my variable musicians. Okay, so, and I can do that in my screen open. So I'm just going to copy Command C, Command V on a Mac is how you copy. But I'm going to set my, um, sorry, I need to create a new variable as well. So I'm going to Command C, Command V this variable, but I'm going to call this one musicians list. Okay, and I'm going to set my musicians list when the screen opens, I'm going to set it to the list of values in the in the spreadsheet called music ratings. I don't want the ratings now I want the artist column. So now I'm going to have a list of stuff, which is going to be the list with Drake, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, Drake and Nicki Minaj. Okay, that's my musician list. And in fact, as I walk through going through everything, I'm going to set the current musician to the eighth musician. Okay, so all I've done right now is I'm looping through, I'm grabbing the rating and the musician, and now I need to kind of process those. And what I want to know is if the musician's Drake, I want to add um, that rating to my total I'm building up. Okay, so here's where I need to use an if block. Okay, and my, it, you know, this block is pretty, pretty simple. I'm just going to say, you know what, if the variable called rating, which holds kind of the current one, right, the current one I, I'm looking at, if that's equal to, oh, sorry, not that, I want, I want the musician. If the musician is equal to the text called Drake, or I could put Nicki Minaj here, right? Either one. But if the musician, as I'm going through here, and as I'm, you know, basically as I'm walking through the spreadsheet, if the musician is Drake, then grab that number and add it to my Drake total. Otherwise don't, right? So if the musician's Drake, now I want to set my Drake total. Sorry, I need to actually grab a set. I don't want to set my overall total. I've already done that work up here. Here, I want to set my Drake total and I want to set it to itself plus this rating that I'm looking at, the current rating, okay? And just to be careful, I'm gonna, not to be careful, but I need to do it before I even start all this my Drake total needs to be set to zero. So I'm gonna initialize it to start at zero. I'm gonna walk through all the ratings. If the rating, if the musician in that rating is, is Drake, I'm gonna to add to my total here and add that rating, rating to it, okay? Uh, I also have a variable called Drake count. So remember, I, I'm trying to get the average. So I'm also going to change my Drake count by one, right? Oh yeah, I got one that was Drake. I need to actually count that. And so I'm also going to increment. It's a little bit different because I'm not adding a rating to this. I'm adding just the number one to it, right? So every time I get a, uh, one that's Drake, I'm going to add one to my Drake count. Um, Okay, and once again, I better initialize my Drake count to zero. Okay, I'm, so these guys start at zero. I walk through, if I get one that's Drake, and if you'll remember the spreadsheet, there's two of them. So my Drake count should end up as two, and my Drake total should end up, I think it's 14. All right, okay, so we've got those guys. Uh, we could test and put those in a label, but all we have right now is a Drake average label. So let's just see if we are getting this right and make sure you put this below the loop, right? You want to go through all your processing first. And what we want to do is divide. And so I'm going to grab the divide block. And what I want to divide is the Drake total, which in, for my sample date, I think is going to be 14. And I want to divide it by Drake count which I'm hoping is gonna be two, 
Okay, so I should get an average of, of seven. All right, so let's test this out. And uh, so far, so good. And yeah, so I'm getting a Drake average of seven. Um, I still got my total of all of them, 39, and an average of seven, 7.8. Okay, and of course, you know, you could put another if block in here that is if the musician is Nicki Minaj um, and you'd have to have a couple variables for her to keep track of her total and, and, and her count.